say. But uh, we have of course been very active on, on developing new things uh, during the recent year. And one thing that we have looked into is the EU service portfolio. Uh, review the services and, and uh, work on service roadmaps in order to be able to answer customer demands even better. Um, and, and if all goes well, we will have new addition to the service portfolio during this year. Then we have also looked into the quality of the services, uh, improving and reviewing service management processes, customer processes and so on. And naturally, we have been active in contributing to the European Open Science Cloud. Um, we have many different uh, developments. Uh, one of the developments is, uh, for example, that we have been working to establish the uh, core metadata schema, which will be supported in B2Find and in B2Share, via the EU core metadata schema, which is following the open air guidelines. Uh, we are easily to uh, make uh, also the services harvestable by, uh, by open air, and via these uh, uh, data schema, metadata schema, we, uh, it's also clear how communities can make the data available uh, through the U.CDI. Uh, we also have been working uh, on the Big to Save side, where we have been implementing a uh, publication workflow, where you can easily uh, upload your data through Big to Save, but also make your data available and the metadata, publish your metadata into uh, the Big to Share service. And from B2Share, again, you can make your data discoverable through B2Find and OpenAir. Um, next to this, we also have been working to establish a new kind of service. We have been working in the RDA, in the uh, Persistent Identifier uh, Working Group for uh, registering uh, PEDs for instruments. And for this, we have been setting up a uh, proof of concept service on basis of uh, B2Share technology, where we support the metadata schema established in the RDA. And uh, for this we are now working towards uh, uh, setting up a production service and offer this to users where they can register instrument information and receive a persistent identifier. I would say that the three factors for successful EU that are that we are providing added value for our members and that we deliver high quality services that are attractive for the users and that we maintain the, the prominent position we have in the European landscape. And, and I think we all knew that we believe that, that supporting the sharing of data across borders and disciplines will, will help to benefit the science and lead to new discoveries. Um, the, the services are improved in different ways. Uh, we are improving the services by improving also the infrastructure and uh, looking into the new versions of the software. For example, we, have, we are going to migrate the B2Find service and the B2 uh, drop services to new infrastructure so that we can easily improve the performance and scalability of the service. But also we are improving uh, the services by upgrading to new versions of the software from Seacam and Nextcloud. Uh, within B2Find we are also improving the uh, search interface and we are looking into to see how we can enable graph technology within uh, B2Find but also in the B2Handle service. Um, for uh, B2Share we also are looking into, because B2Share is based on Invino, we are to see how we can uh, upgrade uh, the B2Share uh, uh, technology so that we can also support for example Invino RDM and to see how we can enable more capabilities and features which are provided through uh, Infineo RDM. We also uh, want to, while we have done a previously and proof of concept of the of the uh, P, uh, pit in service uh, for instruments, which is called B2Inst. And now we are more migrating the B, uh, B2Inst service into a production uh, service that is planned within uh, 2022.